What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all well. We're in for a little bit of a different video today. This is uh, obviously rife on YouTube and I thought I would uh, give my take on it. I'm, uh, I'm just going to go about it the way that I th actually think about these things and I think a disclaimer at the start, I don't really think about these things too much because I think that deliberating who's natty and who's not, it's, it's a game that just doesn't really interest me massively just in terms of we're pretty we can be pretty sure who's on and who's not you know especially when you've gone and done that transition you can just you can just see and you can tell that difference immediately so i'm gonna arm you with the skills that you need to tell if someone's natty or not and like dr greg Doucette, like i'm 99 percent sure on all of these and there's always that one percent there's always an outlier there's always an outlier so i have three big names for you they were the three most requested people and they've probably got approximately a hundred natty or not videos of themselves um or from other people on them on youtube and i'm gonna add another one we've got mike thurston we've got dickerson ross or actually ross dickerson as he's his real name is uh and matt does fitness three very very great you know very very aesthetic physiques three different physiques um and three different answers i feel maybe not three different answers because there's only two answers but three different guys i'm gonna break it down to exactly the way that i'm working out if they're natural or not um and is my word gospel no it's not no it's not but this is my opinion we'll start off with big mike big mike thurston chesty bra chest chest mike um so there are things that we're looking for when we're looking at someone who's not who's not natural there are there are certain patterns that are very very evident especially when you've when you've used steroids yourself you can tell these patterns right first and foremost bigger delts bigger traps slightly more masculine looking features um and then p perhaps the change that you may have seen in someone's physique and those of you guys who have watched my videos for a long time you would have seen the change in my voice. You would have seen the change in maybe my jaw. I, I look a little bit more like a man. Even though I am older in general, I do look a little bit more like a man now. Uh, and, and those are all side effects of, of steroids. So the first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to come on to Mr. Mike Thurston's YouTube. And we're going to click back onto his oldest videos first. And you can immediately see that four years ago, he was absolutely jacked. Um, in fact, we're just going to click on one of these videos and you can see, in fact, in this first in this first scene right here, he doesn't look massively impressive. A very, very telltale sign that you're not on steroids uh, because you're just not hugely, you know, bulbous and, and whatnot all the time. Um, but and you can see, from, especially from these side angles, that he's nothing massively impressive versus what the thumbnail was. And if we if we click back, you can see the thumbnail, right? Look at the thumbnail. It's because it's got a great picture, great lighting, great added structure and he's obviously fairly lean all year round but as we click through the video there's nothing massively enamoring about his physique and i think that's something to uh to take part if we click on another one in any of these photos uh, he looks really good and i think just while you're looking at his face here just note how his face looks right he definitely looks a little bit younger he definitely looks a little bit younger this is four years ago remember and if we if we click back out and we'll switch We'll switch this to sort by oh, the newest. So we'll click on his newest one. Much more tanned, fair play. That's, that's a man who's lived a good life there. But like he's got, like his face is really, really good. There's no bad skin. There's no real facial change. And I think if you, if you, as we flick through the video, like, I mean, you can even see here, he's still got an amazing physique. He still looks great when he's walking down the beach. He still looks great when he's walking down the street. And for me, there is very little to no difference over the last four years. And for me, when I look at his pictures, when I go on his Instagram right now, that is a that is a physique of someone who is natural. And, and that is gonna be my verdict on Mike Thurston that he is natural because he is someone who is not very heavy. He's someone that's very lean year round. He's someone that hasn't really changed physically, structurally. His face hasn't changed. Uh, I know that he's had a hair transplant. Uh, people will say, oh, that's because he's used steroids. If you actually look back at his first videos and his first photos, he's always had a receding hairline and a thin hairline. So in my opinion, Mike Thurston, you passed the test. I think you're natural. Next up, Ross Dickerson. Let's go onto his Instagram. 
first things first, we look at the delts, we look at the thickness in the arms, we look at the maturity in the face, you look at the size of his arm there, it's unbelievable. So we know he's got an amazing physique. I know that, in fact, he's a perfect one to look at, is his transformation here. Um, you know, he looks like a bit like a boy there, and he looks like a man, man there. And one thing I noticed when I was looking through his, uh, his YouTube, we'll, go, we'll do the exact same thing, and we will put these back. I'm gonna make it uh, relative, so we'll go back four years like it was for Mike, Mike Thurston, and we'll have a look at what we can already see. If we click on uh, any one of these videos, he, or, he looks so much younger. He looks a little bit more podgy today. He's probably not as lean as he is now. We'll flick until he's got his, his arms out at least. But he is half the man that he is there. Like there is a significant change in the last four years, in my opinion, to his physique. I think I, I was someone that followed Ross back in these days as well. Um, and as we keep opening these videos, like you can, especially from his back, we can use this comparison right now. You can see, yeah, decent back doesn't look too bad. I would, I would hazard a guess is that he was natural in these videos because he's nothing impressive. He's not super shredded like, like this. Like I know what this guy looks like right now. And as we click back to his Instagram, like look at this front shot. You compare this front shot to what we just saw then, and we and we and we and you and you flick back through them like it's it's ridiculous. You can compare this right now, the front shot to the front shot in four years. That is massively, massively impressive if you're natural. And bearing in mind, like this is no fancy light. This is just literally he's clearly facing a window, and this is just front on. He just looks that thick. I also trained like in the same gym as him and I've seen him progress and I remember watching him go from 95 kilos to 108 kilos and stay very, very lean. That screams not natural to me. If you make inroads into your physique, inroads where someone goes, fuck me, you've done well there. Chances are, <laughs> chances are you're not natural. Uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to take away from people that have really hard work, like can work really hard and can make huge physique changes. But like, look at these, look at these pictures. The thickness through the delts, through the traps. Um, I'm going to ignore his arms because like he's always had pretty big gnarly arms. And I know that, you know, your arm size can like fucking look at this picture. He is... I don't know who that is. He is not natural. Ding, ding, ding. Not natural. Courtesy of me. Um, Ross, if you're watching this, which you're not, and you know me, you do. I don't think you're natural. Um, I don't know if he said he's natural at all. I feel like maybe he said that he was natural. I don't know if he says it now. I am keep getting drawn back to this picture. But if someone showed me this picture and said, is this guy natural or not? I would have to say no. Or he is in the 0.0001% genetics and the difference that he has made. Um, even since this picture here where he competed, like this is where he competed in 2019. I mean, you immediately look at the picture next to it. You, d you don't make those type of changes in a year when you're, when you're natural and you've been training for six, seven, eight, nine years. The, the increments are very much curved off at the top. So... Ross Dickerson, you have failed the test. Even though you didn't want to be put on this test, I've put you on it and I failed you. So, cheers, Ross. Matt Does Fitness, the man. So, we were just flicking through these uh, videos before we got into this, and this is when I started following Matt. And this is when everyone was calling him not natural anyway. And we've gone back four years ago here. You can see from the titles, he is a strong ass dude. Six plate squat, that is seriously strong. That's like a 260, 260 squat. Uh, 640 pound deadlift. So you know this guy is strong. You know this guy is strong and with that much strength has to come some sort of, some sort of real, real, you know, thickness in muscle. I think the issue with Matt Does Fitness is that he, he, he never really was a huge uh, take your top off guy until he got lean that one time. Um, so we'll just flick back through these videos and we'll, we'll try and make a decision based off his, uh, his, his physique, his stature there. So immediately in this squat, you can see his arms are big. You can see his legs are big. It doesn't look much. In fact, in fact, he looks bigger than, than he is now, to be fair. I appreciate he's not in some amazing lighting and whatnot, but from what I can see, like, this is probably a pretty good, uh, a good angle to, so he's, de he's definitely got bigger for sure. So when he stops this. 
So we can get a good look of his arms. So we can see like he, he had a lot of muscle. He's definitely not, he's definitely bigger now, or maybe he's just a little bit leaner. You can see he's a lot more chunky, no veins in his legs, no crazy veins in his arms. Looks a little bit chubbier in the face as well. And obviously if we click to his, 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 his pictures now, he's got a big jawbone. He's much leaner across the top. You know, his legs uh, have got separation through them, but nothing crazy. But again, when we're looking for those telltale signs of someone that's, that's, that's not natural, we're looking for those, those androgen sites where you've got a higher affinity to bind. And it's in the delts and it's, and, it's, and it's in the traps. So we can see this picture right here. Nothing, for me, that's nothing impressive. I think he looks bang natural. I think he looks bang, bang natural. And we take in consideration that he was a very, very, very strong guy. Very strong guy. Four or five years ago, he was strong. So we know that he had put in a lot of work to build some muscle. There is no reason for him to really be on steroids, like other than to look better. But I kind of feel like that look better vibe is, is sort of phasing out and it's more towards you're going to use it to make money from it. Wherein he just looks good anyway. Um, there's nothing crazy about his delts. There's nothing crazy about his strength increase. And if we looked at his, in fact, he's weaker now than he was four years ago because he stopped powerlifting so much. He he has not progressed his physique really since he did that huge cut. I think he did a cut two years ago or maybe a little bit longer or maybe a bit shorter. And he took a lot of body fat off and he kind of just stayed lean since. And I think that is what's just made him stay so lean and people to call him not natural. Yes, there are pictures where you're like, mm, maybe he's not natural, but this is the perfect example right here. This is his brother who, who also may not be natural, but in my opinion is natural. It's in the genes. The arms are very, very identical. The chest is identical. The delts maybe not as popping because he's because Matt's probably a little bit leaner. You can tell it's in the genetics. And if we compare this side shot that we just had here to someone like Ross when he's in his when he when he's in in his side shot, um, if we can find it, like that is a that is a big old arm compared to compared to Matt. And you can tell the difference. Granted, Ross is a little bit leaner here, but I think there's a stark difference. And I think especially when you take these facial genetics into consideration with him and Luca here, like he looks the same as he did four years ago. He is like identical. And and the same with with, with Mike Thurston. Like, he, yes, a little bit of age is there. But Ross literally went from boy to man. And I think that's another telltale sign that that, that, that um, he's probably not natural. But in my opinion, Matt does fitness. Matt, Matt does fitness. Matt does fitness. Matt doesn't do fitness anymore. Matt does fitness and eating. Matt does fitness. You are natural. Courtesy of me, I'm going to say. Uh, if you guys want to see some other people on this and you want to see me go through this and you want to see me work it out, like, I think there's, I think you can work out nearly everyone and you can work out if they're natural or not. You know, we're talking about Jeff's side, all those types of people. We can work through them. So comment down below. The uh, the top liked comment. We'll, we'll, we'll go through those people next. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've got a natural. We've got a not natural. And we've got a natural. If you guys either one of those want to respond to these comments, which you definitely won't. Sound. Call me out. I'll get the I'll get the blood test ready. We'll see you guys soon. Peace and love, everybody. Bye bye.